Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the different ways you can cast an object in C Sharp both in the context of a single object but also an enumerable and take a closer look at the performance of each way because in my previous videos I have shown different ways of doing it in the context of the video and the comments say oh you should not do that, that is very slow, that's not memory efficient, don't use that However, the results of this video will surprise you because the fastest way is not what you expect it to be. If you like the above content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and for more training, check out nickchapsas.com. Alright, so what I have here is a simple console application running in .NET 6, and what I want to do here is show you the three main ways you can use to cast an object and explain how they work as well. So first, I'm going to create a new class over here, call that person. And I'm going to add a couple of properties. One will be the ID and the other one will be the full name. And I'm just going to use that uh, as a foundation for the type we're going to be uh, casting against. And then I'm just going to make a class over here called static objects. And I'm going to use that as an in-memory cache just to eliminate any room for instantiating the object actually affecting the benchmarks we're going to run in a second. So I'm just going to say, for example, that Nick is a static object in this class and it has a random GUID and then a full name, Nick Chaps, I said, that's it. And as you can see, it returns object. So I'm going to use that object return type to cast it to a person and show you the methods. So first we can say person Nick equals static objects dot Nick. And obviously this doesn't compile because this is an object, not a person in terms of return type. So the first thing I can do is hard cast it. I can say person over here. And this is me telling the compiler, hey, you don't know what this type is, but I know that this is a person guaranteed. And if it is in fact a person, which in this case, the way the code is right now, it is, then I can say uh, nick.fullName and I can get the full name in the console as you can see over here. That's because yes, indeed it is a person. However, the way hard casting works is that if this object isn't really the type you're claiming it to be, the compiler will say, well, I trust you. And if you try to run that, you're going to get an exception because it is an invalid cast. So if you can't cast it when you're hard casting it, you're going to get a big boom. So that is the first way. The second way is I can say person Nick equals, and I can say static objects Nick as person. Now this type of casting is called safe casting. And because I'm using nullable reference types, I should also say that this returns a nullable person. And now the way safe casting works is that it says, okay, you're saying that this can be cast to this type. Let me try it. If it does work, I'm going to give you back the type, the value, the object. If not, I'm going to give you back null, preventing you from throwing that exception. So if this was like before person and I just run the code as it is, then as you can see, Nick Chapsas shows up. However, if this is not a person, if this is again an anonymous object, then this in this case will throw a nullable reference exception because Nick will actually be null. So these are maybe the main ones you know, but we also have the match cast. So what you can do is say static objects.nick is person. So it is the type and you can get the type as a variable. So I can paste that in here. And now if Nick is that person, I'm going to get something in the console. I am not because in this case it is still an anonymous object. But if I change it back to person and I run it, then I'm going to get back Nick. And within that context, I can use Nick. If I go outside of that context, then this won't compile because it says Nick is not in that context. It's not initialized at this point. So what do you want me to do? Which makes sense. Now there's a clear separation between hard casting and then safe casting and match casting. The main difference is that hard casting is you telling the compiler, I know what's up. If this is not that type, then throw. While here it is like, I'm not quite sure if it is, then do something about it. And these two actually work in similar ways and they can be used interchangeably in your application's uh, logic. While hard casting cannot, it's a more violent approach to casting something. Now what I want to do is take these three different types and put them in a benchmark. And for that, I'm going to use benchmark.net. I'm going to go here and install that. And I'm going to create a benchmark class with my three for now benchmarks. So here we go. I added my three benchmarks here. So one is hard casting the object. The other is safe casting and returning it. And the last is match casting it. So I'm going to go in here in the program.cs and say benchmark runner dot run that benchmarks class with the three main objects and then change this to release mode 
and run my benchmarks. So results are back and let's see what I have here. So as you can see, the hot casting is by far the fastest, less than half a nanosecond, while match casting is the second fastest with one nanosecond. Safe casting is the slowest, which is interesting because match casting and safe casting can be used interchangeably because of the way they work. However, because the difference is so, so small in nanoseconds, what I recommend is that you choose the one that makes more sense from a clean code and code maintainability perspective, not really which one performs faster because it's like 0.3 nanoseconds faster. However, all of that now was set up for us taking a look at how this thing changes when we work with collections. And that is a whole different world because that type of performance widely changes with different collections and then link in the mix. So let's take a look at how we can implement similar logic with an enumerable. So what I'm going to do is come back here and say public static list of objects. And I'm going to call that uh, people and this will be enumerable dot range and the range will be uh, zero to 10,000 and there will be a new person class, but it's going to have a random ID and a random name, which will be a grid to string. And let me just say ID is that, properly spell it, and then full name equals that to list. And of course, I have to cast that to an object. Here we go. And this is the enumerable we're going to be casting the objects on. Now, the simplest way that you're probably familiar with is the following. I'm just going to say public list of person and call this method of type and it's going to be called that because in link you have the following you can say static objects dot people dot of type person and i'm going to just say to list because i want to enumerate this and now let me just break it down for you this will only give me anything that is of type person in that list into a list and that's it. Very simple, very clean looking, very readable. Now, another approach is I can use a different keyword from link. I can say public list of person again, and I'm going to use the cast method with the as keyword. What does that mean? Well, it means that let me just copy that and remove this. I can say give me all the people where X as person is not null. And then I can say cast that to a person because at this point I know it's a person, which makes sense because if I save cast it and it's not null, then it means it is a person and this cast will work. And then here I can say, do the same thing, but with the is keyword and return the people back. And then I'm going to take both of these methods, but instead of using the cast method, I'm going to use hard casting over here. So I'm going to say select and hard cast it in both ways. Now, the second one actually tells me replace this with of type. We're going to see how it's affected. And I'm going to run the benchmarks as they are for now. I'm going to leave out the individual benchmarks just so they don't slow me down. They're also irrelevant with this test. And I'm going to go ahead and run this benchmark and see what all the different ways return back. So results are back and let's see what we have here. So of type, which is the cleanest looking, is 102 microseconds. Remember, one microsecond is one thousandth of a millisecond and all of them seem to have the same memory. I'm sure if you drill down, it's a bit different on the bytes. The reason why it shows up like equals is because the size of the collection outshadows any size of memory allocated for the operation itself. So memory kind of becomes irrelevant for any of that. Now the cast method is actually, in my opinion, the second best looking when it comes to readability, but it is also the slowest and everything is twice as slow on average than the hard casting approach over here where we say that hey where this is person or where this um as person is not null hard cast the item here so even though it is the least good looking it is actually the fastest however i didn't actually use any of these approaches in a video i made in the past what i did instead was the following what i had is instead of a where x is person i said x get type equals type of person and this is an exact match on the person itself and i would have here a hard cast type of now obviously if you saw this you would think this will be the slowest at least that's what everyone thought and by the way before i benchmark this i thought this would not be the fastest let's run the benchmarks again and see how this one performs. All right, so results are back and let's see what we have here. So as you can see, maybe to the surprise of many, the hard casting with the type of we just added 
is the fastest. Just a little bit faster than the hotcast with is or as, but it is in fact the fastest. So what does that all mean for you? Well, in my opinion, the most important thing out of all of this, just because of how tight the timings are, is that obviously don't optimize something prematurely or if you don't need to optimize it, performance is always contextual. And in my opinion, you should go with the simplest looking approach in both cases. In my opinion, off type is the simplest looking. And here, safe casting or match casting really depends on what you're doing with the code. But take that as an opportunity to understand how different things work and the fact that you might want to do your own benchmarking and not make any assumptions about how things perform just because they look a specific way, because we associate get type with reflection and reflection slow and bad and whatever. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making this video possible. If you want to support me as well, you can find the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe, more to like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.